Coach, you've uh, gone through your marathon qualifier for uh, the first tournament of the spring, which traditionally is in Hawaii. Um, kind of go over what went on in qualifying and, um, you know, and what you saw there. Well, you know, we do try to start over a little bit every spring um, by giving everybody a chance, no matter how their fall went, to, uh, to play in the tournament. So we, we played 108 holes, and, and uh, low five guys made the trip. And uh, Ollie continued to uh, continues to play well, as well uh, as Anders. Um, and unfortunately, we had uh, Seth got sick during the qualifier, so when uh, he he didn't get a chance to finish that up, so he's a little disappointed. But uh, get him back in school doing his thing and and move on for the spring. But uh, Michael Hines played really well uh, five of the six days, and so the freshman continues uh, to impress. And I guess it's, it's a little bit surprised is as to how well he's adjusted to everything, but uh, he's, he's having a great year. And, um, and then Richie and uh, Bo will uh, finish out the team and we'll uh, have a chance to take uh, an individual over there. So we'll take uh, Soon Yad along and get six guys a chance to get some tournament experience. And uh, we're looking forward to it. Did, um, what, do you, what did you see from, you mentioned Ollie and Anders continue to play well and pretty consistent most of the time. What did you see from Bo and Richie, who were kind of up and down a little bit more in the fall? Uh, there's a little, there was still some up and down. Um, obviously, there's a lot of pressure in this qualifying. Um, as the year moves along, you certainly want to be on the road and, and in tournaments. And uh, Richie played really well at the end to kind of come back and get his spot. And Bo just kind of motored along. We'll need both of those guys to play better uh, in the event, uh, which I'm sure they will. But again, there's, there's an incredible amount of pressure when there's no way out and there's no coach's picks. Uh, it's a lot like Q school and you kind of have to do that so hopefully everybody grouped and experience and um, dealt with some you know different conditions weather wise at times so uh, um, but we do need those older guys to play better for sure um, Michael Hines a bit of a surprise that he cracked the lineup what uh, what what does he do well what's he done uh, during this qualifier that earned him that uh, that spot I think the thing that the one time, you know, the time that I went out and watched Michael play at the U.S. Junior uh, in Seattle, um, first time I really got to watch him play, uh, drove the ball really long and really straight, and uh, he continues to do that. And uh, the thing that I, I really like about him is we, we talk a lot about composure and moving on and not getting frustrated and, and deal with difficult times. Uh, he does a tremendous job with that for a freshman. I mean, he's really grown up when he plays. I think one day he turns in 38, kind of getting behind the eight ball and, and fires 31 on the back. And, uh, you know, turns in an under par round. There was a, a round at East Lake that got away from him. The next day we went out there, uh, guys four under through 12. So he really has demonstrated a lot of maturity when he plays and uh, a real competitive, positive nature, which is, which is surprising for someone that young. This, uh, it, this event in Hawaii that you've been to now for, you know, probably more than 10 years, I, I can't remember exactly the number, but uh, it's, a, it's an event that seems to, little by little every year, get bigger and bigger and attract stronger and stronger teams. Talk about the, uh, you know, the evolution of that event and why you continue to go back. Well, obviously it's a lot of West Coast schools, and uh, we've kind of seen the, the uh, reclamation projects that have been done out West uh, at UCLA and USC and Stanford and Washington and in those schools, you know, 10 years ago when we first started, 15 years ago going over there, they, they were not the, the, you know, the, the real nationally competitive programs and the tournament was a little easier to win. Uh, it's almost grown with the same teams and now the West Coast has become obviously very strong, a lot of great players, a lot of great teams, and that has really enhanced the difficulty of winning the tournament. So it's a great place to start. Uh, early, in the, early in the spring, you kind of find out where you are, but uh, you know, as we've always tried to go play against the best teams we can find, uh, the tournament certainly measures up to that. Great. Thank you.